Everybody had that answer. It should be 176. This is 16 minus 15, so that's 1, and you square it to get 1. That's a 4, plus 4 is 8, and squared is 64. And then minus 3, you should come up with 62. On the top, this is 8, and then you have 4 times 5 is 20, so you have 28, plus 2 is 30. On the bottom, that's 4, that's 4, so that's 8, plus 12 is 20, plus 10 is 30. 30 over 30 is 1, and if you square it, you still get 1. Today's lottery is three. Seven with homework out of seven here, 100 percent. Fantastic. Homework answers. Your expressions should be x minus one, x plus five, x, x plus one, and 173 is the total. You have four x's, negative one plus five is four, plus one is five, so you have a plus five. Solve this down to 42 for x and find out what each one had. If you put that 42 in, you get 41, 47, 42, and 43 for each one. And for the bonus, we only had one that qualified. And according to the wording of the problem, they get it all, all the mileage. So times 7497 to get this, and they get five grand for winning. So you should have 85, 23, 59. We're going to add this up differently than the last two days. So pay attention to what you get a point for. If you have the expression for each one right, one point each, so you could earn four points there. If you have x equals 42, you get another point, so that's five. If you have all of these, those are one point each, 41, 47, 42, and 43, the total mileage for each one, that's a point each, so you're up to nine. And if you have this number here at the bottom, 85, 23, 59, that'll be 10. So again you have 1, 2, 3, 4 with your expressions, the x value 42, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 for these, that's up to 9, and this will be 10, 85, 23, 59. Today's common core objective, here's a, it's the same obje objective as yesterday, for some reason I, two days in a row I haven't put the objective in here, but it's still creating equations and then solving them. Alright, here is just one little tiny difference. There are four people picking apples. Joe picked twice as many as Mary. Jeff picked ten less than twice as many as Joe. Maggie picked thirty less than three times as many as Jeff. The total apples picked by all of them is 880. There is a bonus of 125 <coughs> for each apple picked over 500. Who earned this bonus and how much was the bonus? Can you tell what the difference is in this problem? Yeah. Yeah, you've got a lot of multiplication such as twice as many or, or three times as much. But you still do it the same way. So we'll lower this down a little bit to have room to work. And we'll start up here at the top. Jeff picked 10 less than twice as many as Joe. So we have Jeff and then Joe to start with. So is Joe mentioned anywhere else? Or not Joe, but Mary. I need to put Mary in there. Mine will be out of order in terms of the problem. We'll go ahead and put Maggie in as well since I'm putting in all the names. The total is 880. So if Joe picked twice as many as Mary, 
And Mary's not mentioned anywhere else in the problem in terms of what you know about her. Who's going to be the X? Mary. Okay, now Joe picked twice as many as Mary. What's Joe going to be? 2X. 2X, right. Now Jeff picked 10 less. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, Jeff, oh, Jeff picked 10 less than twice as many as Joe. So what would we put for Jeff? Yeah. Well, here, here's Joe. And Jeff picked 10 less than twice as many as Joe. Twice as many as Joe would be what? Because Joe is 2x, so what's twice 2x? 4x, and then Jeff picked 10 less than that. So he would end up being 4x minus 10. Remember, whatever Joe is, you have to double that. You can't just make it 2x because Joe's already 2x. So if you double 2x, then it's 4x. And 10 less than that would be minus 10. Yeah. Maggie picked 30 less than 3 times as many as Jeff. So 3 times as many as Jeff. I'll put that down here. Jeff... Maggie is 30 less than 3 times as many as Jeff, and Jeff is 4x minus 10, 3 times Jeff, and then 30 less. So when we multiply through, we end up with 12x minus 30 from the parentheses, but we still have another minus 30 on the outside. So that's 12x minus 60 for Maggie. Now we have to add all these up, plus, plus, plus. Now, add up your x's. You have 4x and 2x. 4x and 2x is 6x. 6x plus x is what? 7x, and what's 7x plus 12x? 19, yes. We have 19 x's in there. Minus 10, and then minus 60. What's minus 10 minus 60? Minus 70, yeah. And you set it all equal to 880. So from that point, uh, you would have to add you do the opposite here. You add the 70 to this side. And it comes up to be 950. Now I'm kind of I'm kind of out of room here. This is not as neat as it should be since we had to move that expression for Maggie to the bottom. But we we are right here and we're just going to go like this and do x equals 950 divided by 19. X will equal 50. Okay. So now we have to figure out how many each one had. How many apples they picked. So we'll start here with Jeff. And remember that Jeff is 4X minus 10. And X is 50. So if I put 50 in for x here, I would do 4 times 50, which is what? 200 minus 10, 190. So Jeff had 190. Uh, we'll go to Joe. Joe was 2x, and x is 50. So how much did Joe have? 100. And next up is Mary. Mary is X. So what's Mary? 50. And then we go to Maggie. Maggie is 12X minus 60. If I put a 50 in for X, what's 12 times 50? 600 minus 60. 540. Well, that's what we know for each person, so we have to look at the rest of the problem. 
there is a bonus of a dollar twenty-five for each apple picked over five hundred. So does that mean they get a dollar twenty-five for all the apples they picked, or just the ones over five hundred? Just the ones over five hundred. Right, just the ones over five hundred. So the only one over five hundred is Maggie. How many apples over five hundred did she have? She had 540, and if we take away the bonus of 500, the bonus limit, so she ends up ends up with 40 over 500, and we multiply that 40 by the dollar 25. What is 40 times a dollar 25? 50 dollars even. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is the bonus. Maggie earned $50. There are four people picking apples. Joe picked three times as many as Mary. Jeff picked 50 less than twice as many as Joe. Maggie picked 25 less than twice as many as Jeff. The total apples picked by all of them is 705. There is a bonus of $1.25 for each apple picked over 500. Who earned this bonus and how much was the bonus? Four people picking apples. Joe picked three times as many as Mary. So here's Joe and Mary. Mary is going to be X and Joe is 3X. Jeff picked 50 less than twice as many as Joe. Here's Jeff. Joe is 3x, and Jeff picked 50 less than twice as many as Joe. Here's twice as many as Joe, and here's 50 less. If you simplify that, that should be 6x minus 50. Do not multiply the 2 by the minus 50 because the minus 50 is not in the parentheses. And then Maggie here at the end... She is 25 less than twice as many as Jeff. Well, here's Jeff now, 6x minus 50. And Maggie is 25 less than twice as many as Jeff. Here's twice as many as Jeff, and there's 25 less. 2 times 6x is 12x. 2 times minus 50 is minus 100. But you still have a minus 25 there. So when you simplify that, that is 12x minus 125. And the total was 705. How many x's did we end up with? 22. 3 and 1 is 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 12 is 22. And then we have minus 50 and minus 125. What's that? Minus 175. And of course it's equal to 705. Do I add or subtract 175 on the right? Add it. And when I add 175, what do I get? 880. If I divide 880 by 2, what is it? It's how much? Oh, not by 2. It's by 22. That makes a difference. Yes, I was wondering why, how it came out to be 400 something. <laughs> what is it? 40. Okay, so with that, we have Joe, Mary, and Jeff. That's a weird looking J. And there we go. And then Maggie. All right, so for Joe... Joe is 3x, so he's 120, and Mary is x, she's 40. Jeff is 6x minus 50, so 40 times 6 is 240, minus 50 is 190, and Maggie is 12x minus 125. 12 times 40 is 480, minus 125 is 355. 
Did anybody have 120, 40, 190, and 355 all the way down? Okay. Well, the problem isn't over yet. We have to figure out the bonus. There is a bonus of $1.25 for each apple picked over 500. Who earned this bonus and how much? Did anybody earn it? Nope. Nope. So the whole answer to the problem is no one or something similar. Joe picked eight more apples than twice as many as George. George would have to be X, and Joe is going to be plus eight more than two times X, and the total is 44. So you would end up with 3X plus eight equals 44, which is 3X equals 44 minus eight. And I need to have some more room here. 3X equals 36, so x is 12, George would have 12, and uh, the other one would have 32.